But some of these channels are run and broadcast from outside the Arab world, often in surprising places. This is the leafy village of Fulma, an affluent area just outside London. An unlikely resident has recently moved in. Sheikh Yasser al-Habib has built a sizable following across the Middle East and beyond, enabling him to convert a former church in this village and worth over a million pounds into a mosque. He also uses it as a TV studio to host broadcasts from his 24-hour controversial station, Fadak TV. We sat in on one of Habib's Saturday night broadcasts. Only around 20 people turned up. Only around 20 people turned up. Only around 20 people turned up, but the channel claims he is watched by millions of Shia across the Arab world. Some of their past broadcasts are highly provocative. Yemen, to harikun bil remote control, min Kuwait and Qatar, and ma yusamma Saudiya, ha ula al anjas al wuhush al ladina yuqatilun fi Syria. Gululun bi sarih al ibara, ibtaidu an Shia. ابتعدوا عن الشيعة وإلا هذه اليد التي تمتد لكي تمول وتمد من هم في سوريا سنقطعها إن شاء الله وأنا أدرك معنى كلمتي جيدة إن شاء الله الحبيب was imprisoned in Kuwait accused of insulting Sunni religious symbols Facing a possible 10-year sentence, he fled and ended up in the UK. He is taking full advantage of his newfound freedom to preach his sectarian message. يعني أنه المرأة الحامل يتصادف أو يتفق أنها هكذا تسير في طريق من طرقات المدينة وعمر بن الخطاب يأتي من الطريق الآخر بس تشوف وما في بطنها. So why haven't they been banned? The British regulator Ofcom is responsible for broadcasts from the UK. It's previously warned Fadak TV, but it has never been fined or taken off air. Fadak makes regular appeals for money on both TV and their website. It's proven quite difficult to trace these donations. Fadak TV is registered as a company and it is closely linked with a charity fronted by Habib called the Servants of Mahdi. Both share the same director and Fadak broadcasts with the logo of Servants of Mahdi clearly shown. We've discovered that both organizations, Servants of Mahdi and Fadak TV, are being partly funded from Iraq. Only around 20 people turned up. 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 
All year round, 20 people turned up.